This is the shining example of what happens when each campus puts their best foot forward and works together to deliver them the citizens of Nebraska on what they so dearly need, and in this case, that's health care. The Nebraska Center for Nursing did a study a few years ago in which they projected that by the year 2020, Nebraska would have a shortage of nearly 4,000 registered nurses. This health science education complex will not only address the health care workforce needs, but will help us to continue to impact the economy of the state of Nebraska through the delivery of high quality health services, cutting edge research, and effective and efficient clinical care. The collaboration between UNMC and UNK has been just really outstanding and quite frankly historic. We've been able to collaborate together to address the needs of the state. This will be a game changer. It has given our campus momentum, optimism, and really a confidence that we didn't have before. We can do great things here. Initial conversations probably date to the early fall of 2011. I was very interested in opportunities for our undergraduate students to continue in postgraduate education in allied health professions. So in conversation with Dr. Kyle Meyer, we considered possibilities with regard to uh, expanded teledelivery, online possibilities at the University of Nebraska at Kearney, UNMC programs or curriculum, or perhaps uh, even a physical presence in our existing Bruner Hall of Science. That quickly led to the realization that we had an opportunity here to expand beyond uh, simply that programmatic presence and a physical presence that led to this wonderful project. Once we focused on a freestanding building, the momentum just grew from that. The purpose of not only the building, but of the whole Building a Healthier Nebraska initiative is to increase workforce and to give students who are interested in rural practice the opportunity to complete their health professions and to do their clinical experiences throughout central and western Nebraska with the intent then that they would return to rural communities to practice. If you look at uh, half our population lives east of 40th Street in Lincoln, well, we can't forget the other half, so it, it's important to the entire state that we have this. And since agriculture is our number one production area, we need to have the outstate Nebraska continue to have people living here. And so again, uh, it, was, it was an easy sell that it, this, it, this is going to help the entire state. We're very grateful to the legislature for their farsightedness, but it also took private investment. And without their support, this building wouldn't be possible today. All the partnership opportunities that were there in this project really added to the allure and to the confidence that this would be a project that would make a real impact. One of the biggest benefits of this project is certainly going to be to the citizens of the state of Nebraska. That health care system in a rural community is an important and vital part to the sustainability of those communities. And so as we provide graduates that are interested in staying in rural Nebraska and raising their families and make, calling it home, that's going to be really important. So as we move forward with the project and we graduate students, the healthcare community I think is going to find even more value in the project. CHI Health Good Samaritan has for many years worked with the university, whether it's the University of Nebraska in Kearney or University of Nebraska in Omaha. They listened to what our needs were, they wanted our input, and not just CHI Health Good Samaritan, but the physician offices in the community and the critical access hospitals that are in central Nebraska as well that also need these healthcare professionals that this facility is going to be able to provide and offer. The health science education complex is going to expand the number of seats available in many of these careers. Some of the things that this facility offers them is an opportunity to practice in a professional education because in a rural setting it will be important to know how the healthcare system works and to know how to work with others. It also provides them an opportunity to be exposed to some of the very latest and greatest of the technologies which will certainly advance them in their profession and their careers. The way we have educated students where we keep them so much in isolation from each other and then when they graduate and they go to work, we wonder why they don't know anything about their colleagues or how to work best with them. And I think these students will come out with having developed relationships with individuals in those professions and understanding how to better work together, how they can complement each other. It'll be more like real life. I feel that that's a really good way to introduce teamwork is even we have our small groups here. So if we can get that kind of life-life experience here before we even step into the hospital, I think it's an awesome idea. 
the idea of you know, kind of collaborative learning and, and not so much sitting people in rows and lecturing at them anymore, but kind of getting people more active is the part that really goes through the classrooms. And then in order to do the synchronous kinds of education, or, or well, either whether it's synchronous or asynchronous, but especially synchronous, and make people feel like they're really connected between the campuses, we have a lot of video displays, and usually dual ones in, in the front of the room so that in, instead of just seeing maybe the content that the presenter is presenting, you also see the presenter or you see the other class. And secondly, then we have some other kinds of specialized technology. One is the live radiography laboratory. We have a live x-ray unit in the building, which is the first for us. We don't have that in Omaha. We've had an anatomage table, which is a, a virtual dissection table. We've had one of those in Omaha now for about a year, a little over a year, and now we'll have a second one out here. And then the whole second floor is all pretty much simulation, clinical skills sorts of uh, things where people actually do the kinds of psychomotor tasks that health professionals do in taking care of patients. It became clear this is the model in, in rural communities. What better opportunity for them to understand how it works than to experience it as uh, professional students. It will change both campuses forever and I think it will also change the university as a whole because we've become a model of how to collaborate and how to work together. There is no substitute for the leverage that this kind of collaboration provides in terms of this project, but also those that will come after. This project has provided us a tremendous launch pad to be able to look at other opportunities, and not only in health education, but a wide variety of disciplines across the university. It's only the beginning.